I'll be reacting to Koi Chemo Episode 7. I'll be watching it from Crunchyroll's website, and I'll be starting my reaction in 1, 0, go. Alright, I'm pumped up for this. Whoa, whoa. I am surprised that Tamaru and our Yon are in this situation. <laughs> but I wonder how that happened, though. That's the bigger question. You're gonna blooms. Man, there's something about this song. It slaps hard. It slaps my senses with a lot of positive stimuli. Like the colors, like the beat, and then that like a bit in the opening where like you hear clapping. I don't like, what is there not to love about this opening? I really, um, because I would really love to hear it. any, any opinions as to why this opening isn't a single bit lovable. And just the silhouettes too when you see the... So let's walk in the crowd. It looks sort of stylistic. Although when it's raining, it kind of looks like... Uh, like the um, deformed love child of uh, Fanta and Orange is just falling on the umbrella. I don't know why I think of that when I saw that in the opening, but I just do. That's also another fun thing about anime. Oh! You know what I like when you see Ryo? You see some anime related stuff in the background there. Huh. I actually didn't notice that the first few times I watched the opening, but now I do though. Love for your fic. Yes! I love the title. Feels like we might actually get some blooming romance this week. But whatever the case, I have my expectations exponentially high. Hell yeah, our boy shopping. Yes, <laughs> this is fucking adorable. Here, but no, he might as well go. I mean, it's not like our boy's gonna bite him. Forward world X. I wonder what's a reference to that forward world. Hmm. I like the summary noises. <laughs> because you see him as a love rival, man. You just haven't noticed it yet. That's why. Maybe he has noticed it, he just isn't acknowledging that reason yet. Well, yeah, I mean... I don't think it's pathetic, but it's more like... Oh! I mean, okay, when Rio says it that way, I could see why. But he also has to look at it at this context. <laughs> That's a little of a little scene there. Oh my. I mean, hey, nothing wrong with BL stuff. I mean, I watch a lot of BL anime and hentai. Don't question me. <laughs> but some of it is surprisingly good, though. I ain't gonna lie. Hmm. Hey, okay. And get some nice quick chat. Hmm. Our oh, man, he's becoming more cultured than he already was. <laughs> Hours. 
They're freaking cute. Oh! 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 I like how Tomer doesn't even completely deny that either. Yeah, he does look like he is souls about to be just strained out of his body. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that boy looks like he's about to murder someone. Hell yeah, Tamaru does. I mean, hey, I love that boldness. Don't get me wrong. I love my real, but I don't want. But I don't mind there being struggle one bit. I like me my juicy drama. Oh boy. I like just the amount of preparation she takes. It's so. It's not like a dog! <laughs> I like how they have like this squee kanji too on screen. I mean, hey, with all she went through, she does deserve an award. Re I mean, reward. Well, I don't know why it said award. Yo, the animation there looks ill good! I wouldn't mind watching an anime with that kind of animation style. <laughs> yes, you know what they say, great minds think alike. I mean, I can see. <laughs> oh, oh, my heart can only take so much sweetness. Hey, no, nah, I mean, they both seem to enjoy as small as it is. It's they enjoyed each other's company. He miss I like this. I mean, yeah, it could be a good experience for both of them, too. <laughs> oh, I was talking about two peas in the pod there. Yo, girl, looks like she's about to do. They're at, looks like they're after dirty things in the light novel. And that, the animation is on point. Now, I freaking love the visuals, hell. And there was an anime that looked at that as good as that. This is out. Check it the hell out. No, I mean, there are a lot of beautiful anime this season, though. <laughs> a beautiful friendship was formed that day. Whoa! You don't fucking know if epic music was necessary. It made it even better. Encounters goodbyes and a new journey begins. Hey, you know, that kind of fits in with Thor Girl Encounter Nichiga in the store. I always love that emoji with like the two triangles. It's too cute. I think she can eventually, though. I have faith in her, girl. Hey. 
Hell yeah. You know, I kind of wanted to use that thumbnail, but knowing YouTube, if I prefer to use it, I'd be like, oh! It looks like it's... 218 plus! We'll just remove it, so... I wanted to, though, to have those two deep breathing, so I'm just gonna settle with having Ichiga and our girl hand chicken instead. Just to play it safe. And conservative with the thumbnails. Damn, I'm so tempted, though. Oh, I'm assuming that's the mother. Yeah, because she looks really similar to Rio, only with, um... Instead of wanting to share, it's blackish, but definitely shares the eyes. Oof! Oh, oh boy! Like her, boy just instantly leaves. Ain't gonna blame him though, considering the context of, um... The father and all that. It's impl it implied that he wasn't exactly the nicest individual ever. Hey, I mean, at least he's gonna have his uh, daily dose of healing there. Forward World. You know, Forward World's title kind of reminds me of Excel World's title. I know they're not similar, though, because of the imagery there. But it kind of reminds me of it. Oh, interesting. As for me, I just quick read things, but I usually only read it once. Oh, I wonder if... Does our boy have some kind of like powerful six cents? <laughs> this is a bloody Oh, I'm fucking dumb. I know someone at Tamara's age wouldn't want to be called adorable, but that was freaking adorable, though. Oh, I just gotta get used to our boys' mannerisms. I love the moment he says that, then you see a heart. Talk about perfect timing there. No, seriously, those characters, I think it does look pretty cool, actually. I like it. Oh, man. Real. Oh, it's sharp. Sharp is not for snuff. Sharp is not in the world. <laughs> okay, all right. come on, you need, okay, all right. Yo actually needs to practice at least a little bit of restraint on occasions, you know? I could try asking her mom on maybe some of the best ways of making chocolate if she's proficient at making chocolate. I don't think anything that Nichika makes would f would fit the bill. The, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Knowing uh, Ryo, it could be like chocolate that's completely burned, and he would probably still like it. I guess I can see where she's coming from because. She doesn't want to be that type of girl who makes the chocolate that tastes like shit and the crush or the boyfriend just eats it just to not make their loved one feel bad. So I can see where she's coming from. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, okay, that actually is pretty reasonable. I mean, our girl needs, she can't be using training wheels all the time. She has to remove them eventually. Duh, duh. 
kind of badass. Yeah, she's still thinking about giving him chocolate. No, no, he isn't. No, what's happening is she's rationalizing it in her mind. But she's actually going to trash to her boy. She's only doing it in a roundabout way to be like, oh, no. But we all know deep down she's digging real because the older would have just straight up ignored the whole, it's Valentine's Day. The old Ichigo wouldn't have felt pressured into giving our real chocolate. But now she's feeling that pressure. She's feeling pressure because she's, she feels the expectations. That's why. She wasn't coerced into it. And you know what? I like that bit of character development for Ichigo. No, I don't like, I love, actually. Granted, man, that does make me look a little, that does make me a bit hungry. You know, I could imagine him doing that. He'd probably say, I never imagined you were this bold, knowing if, She looks intense, but I think it makes her look, makes her endearing though, in a way. Oh. Masuda hit the nail in the coffin. I mean, with the way she reacted. It doesn't leave much room for imagination there. <laughs> it's a it, it, it does! And not just in her face, in her mannerisms, because of the way she was almost choking on her stuff, too. Uh, I don't want... Sure, sure. She says, I don't want to yet. Earlier, she was asking her homegirl for advice. Uh-huh! Uh-huh! Just like I could say, hey y'all, this isn't a phone, this is just a device. I'm like, <laughs> the only one she's fooling is herself. But that's cute though, huh? I'm not gonna blame Ichigo for acting this way. Oh, wow. Aww. Okay, well, at least with... I wouldn't be surprised. Whoa! Okay, then. Well, each of you guys in a snitch, though. I'm pretty sure you know, our boy has the same stance, but if it's... From each of he wouldn't even fucking give a shit. Hell, if there was a hair, he'd probably be excited for it. I'm not even joking. That's my gut feeling on that. I'm actually surprised. I mean, hey, it just happens. Thankfully, though, at least our boy's a lot more... More like just people being salty as hell. I'm just saying. Oh. I mean, yeah, I mean, the power of love is powerful. Well, they say that love can make you actually learn a language a lot more quickly, too. Hmm. <laughs> 
And also, yeah, Masuda is one of the ultimate bros there. Slow it down! He's gotta accept the embarrassment and all that comes with it. And I don't think he's gonna be able to finesse himself towards some chocolate. Well, I'm not gonna blame the man for trying. Or any man for trying. Within reasonable limits, of course. <laughs> oh, is this something about that plushie? He already owns that, yeah. And plus her boy probably already owns that. Yeah, she can use that. The thing is, like, you know, some were mature, they would still struggle on occasion to figure out what he'd want. I like how the animation became super cute. It is happening. Uh-huh. Oh, she's she's realizing that. She's realizing it. Yes. Even like the pew pew sound effect. Um, and that just means he's got a sixth sense. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Of course he would probably move heaven and earth. Oh man, what is the 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 ED song? Oh, is she gonna make a move? Oh man, oh, oh snap. Oh, looks like he took a man a step forward. F fuck. No, oh, what is he? Oh, fuck. I want to see more, damn it. 23 minutes and 40 seconds isn't enough. Shit. I'm a greedy bastard. I wish these episodes were like 46 minutes. And even if they were 46 minutes. Being the gritty fuck that I am, I probably wouldn't even be satisfied with that. I'd probably be like, man, I wish the episodes were like two hours long if I was like, if they were like an hour long. And then if they were like two hours long, then I'd be like, man, I wish all the episodes released simultaneously. <laughs> so, I mean, there's layers. It's like, you give me an inch, and I want more inches. And then miles eventually. But anyways, all jokes, all jokes aside, the episode is fantastic. I'm going to give this one a nine... 0.25 out of 10. It was by far the best Koi Kima of a son in the series by far, at least in my opinion, because you have the most character developments in this episode. Like the personal of it. <laughs> oh, whoa. I wasn't expecting myself to fanboy like that. Whoa. I don't even know what came over me. I, I felt like I became a different person in those. In those few seconds that you saw, I felt like I was a different person. I didn't even know what came over my mind. I felt like I got possessed by something. By some unknown, inexplicable force. But all just aside, though, there's reasons why I feel the episode is 9.25 out of 10 worthy. Let me start by saying this. The reason why I feel it's 9.25 out of 10 worthy is because, and here's why. Reason why is for one, Ichigo's finally realizing that she wants to legitimately make her real happy. She didn't perceive that before. Now she does. That's why that's monumental. And then with you ever seeing how he's changed, because now we find out from Asuda. Ryo has become more sociable, and we can even see it too because we see um, Ryo have um, a lot of chats with a lot of his co-workers in the last few episodes, well, co-worker in the last few episodes, 
And plus, he is uh, now having anime as a hobby. So we're seeing uh, him change, but for the better. And that's what I love because it shows you that even though Ichigo and Ryo aren't in a romantic relationship, and both of them knowing each other, they've both become uh, better people than they already were before, and they were already good people. And in addition to that, something else I do love about this episode, I love how Rio's put her foot down. Yeah, she's willing to help out both her best friend and Rio, but they do need to figure things out on their own some, because they can't just be everything gift wrapped for them. They have to figure it out, and that's life. You can't just have every, all the answers in front of you, and that's something that was really cool about this episode. And that's why I thought it had a lot of subtle nuances. That's why the running was amazing. The animation was super cute. Well, the voice performances were pretty darn great. And that's why I love... Oh, and the sound effects were amazing. And that's why I feel the episode is worthy of a 9.25 out of 10. But, anyways, y'all. These are my thoughts on the episode. I would love to hear your thoughts on how, on how you feel about my reaction. Or the episode itself in the comment section below. Hope y'all rate the video, share, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later if you come back for more. But anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching my video, and I'm to everyone. Bye-bye.